Well, after last weekend's Boyle Sports International, it's another big weekend of Greyhound Racing coming up because we have the BoyleSports.com Champion Stakes starting at Shelburne Park this coming Saturday. As per usual, Racing Post Greyhound correspondent Michael Fortune joins us. Michael, many are thinking that this year's renewal of the competition, it's one of the best in recent years. Yeah, well, the Champion Stakes is always a fantastic competition. It's the prelude to the Derby, and it's ideal with just two runs for a lot of money, remember. It's a hugely prestigious event. We always get a top-class stake. This year, no exception. In fact, it's a, a, a task to try and think of the dogs that are not in the draw. You know, because these are most of the top greyhounds in training and the ones that will dominate the betting on the derby itself. When the entries came in and they were released on Tuesday, we initially went 7-2, to two, or Wise thought, or we, we initially made him favourite. I suppose this time, six weeks ago, very few would have thought Wise thought would head the betting for the champion stakes. Yeah, probably there's a number of factors involved. First of all, he, he finished third in the English derby. He's a dog, you know, that hasn't convinced me entirely yet. Um, his visits to Dublin last year weren't exactly sensational. He has come through this year a bit, um, bit more so. He's now getting... You know, despite the fact he ran in the juvenile not too long ago, he's he's already in the near veteran stage. He's in his fourth year at this stage. But what has factored well is he had a very good win at Shelburne in the Derby qualifier a few weeks back. Now, in that race, everything went totally in his favour. It won't happen the same way tomorrow night. But he's got a marvellous draw in the third semi semi-final, um, out in trap six with no real noted early pace in the race. Cash Dream in one would be the major exception. And, of course, his big market rival in the race is Fay Point Man. But that's a dog that has promised more so far than he's accomplished, and he is, where he has huge, early, or huge pace all round. It's his early pace that makes you just a little bit worried about him, whether he get a run to the bend. And Wise thought, to me, looks the, the bet tomorrow night in that um, third semi-final. Now you've mentioned Fay Point Man. He's actually our second favourite in the outright betting at 5 to one. You've said he's more of a talking dog. He's yet to deliver on the big stage. Yeah, no, there's no doubt whatever. He's massive pace, this dog. He really is a huge dog. But if you could get the guarantee that after 20 yards he was going to be level with his rivals, then you would be backing this dog to win any stake that you can imagine, especially the longer run races like the 550 and the 575 or 600 in Shelburne. But he's not guaranteed to come away with them. And that's his problem. And with, you know, it happened in Tralee where I opposed him completely in that race of champions. And he just didn't figure because he missed the break, never got involved in the race. Cash Dream got out and took his ground, well, took the ground of a lot of them, you could say, in the early stages there. And that's the problem with Fay Point Man. He's going to have to get a clear run to the corner. And to me, now I honestly think the five to one he is now, he's been backed with you with Boyle Sports from sevens into fives in the long odds. I think that's very poor value for this dog at the moment. Um, he has the ability. But it's just that first 20 yards is a big question mark about him. The next two in the betting, we have Skywalker Queen and Shelburne Aston, the Oaks and Derby winners, and of course Skywalker. She, she beat the boys in Dundalk last Sunday. She did. Um, now, you could say, and I've written that she was slightly fortuitous to do so, because she missed her break, and because of her wide running, she escaped the, the, all the trouble. There was huge trouble in the first bend of that race, caused mainly by Cash Dream drifting off the corner, um, his first run around Dundalk track, and he drifted wide, and he belted into a few of the runners. But the bitch skipped around them on the outside. She was showing good early pace at the time, but it's her one little question mark is getting out of the trap. She did it well in the, in the Oaks final in Shelburne, where she produced that sensational run, but she was lucky in Dundalk. Now, she was good enough then to take advantage of it, so you can't take away from her. She's a hell of a bitch, this one. And if she steps out lively tomorrow night, she's going to take a lot of beating. But do remember that in Trap 5 is advantage, Johnny, a dog that can go up and is a wide runner, a confirmed wide runner that could be even taking her ground on the corner and slip the arc in four. Um, he's he's, a, he's seated middle, but he, whereas at times he moves a fraction inwards, but then he definitely moves out, and he likes to run outside his dogs rather than on, on the inside of any ground. And the room on the outside won't be too plentiful in that race. And Skywalker Queen has a dodgy draw now tomorrow night, and I'm just a little bit wary of her. You know, eleven to two. Um, I don't know. I'm inclined to give Shelburne Aston a massive chance here. He was very unlucky in that race last weekend. He went up quite well to the corner, got closed off with that short run to the bend in. Dundalk doesn't suit a dog like him and then he got murdered at the third bend where he was going to finish third and probably only a few lengths behind the principals in it after having no run at all um, he re- represents reasonable value now at 13 to 2 in the in the long odds although this time last year I think he was 33 to 1 at the same stage yes he was and of course a, a big gamble was landed they're the top four that they sort of dominated the betting that the major players next in line we have the likes of Fat Boys Nodrog Advantage Johnny you've touched on him Oran Classic and Arcardello could, could you see them getting involved definitely now you, you mentioned they're taking him in order fat boys no drug he's running in trap two in the first semi-final this is a very very fast greyhound 
again, it's those early few yards are vital to him because he needs to lead if he's to stay 550 yards. His stamina is not the greatest. So he needs to do his running right from traps. Now, tomorrow night, he has Drubies Noel in one, the Easter Cup winner, and he is Oren Classic, a flying starter in three, though he did miss his break last week, Oren Classic, but that was in one trap, which is a killer for Greyhounds at the moment in Shelburne Park. And fat boys, he's going to have to clear Droopy's Noel and Oren Classic in the early yards to win this race and to qualify probably for the final. And that's the problem. I, I'm just worried about the value of him at the moment at 10 to 1. If I thought he was going to be with him, he's like sort of fair point man in that way. If he's with him in the first few yards, he's going to open up a gap because he has huge pace to the third bend. And he's a dog to beat, but he could be a dog to lay also. You know, Acordello ran a smashing race in Dundalk last week. Out there in trap six and five barefoot Brian. They're two dogs that look destined to get a real good run in this race tomorrow night and um, they could be the value dogs in the race and it's 20 to 1 bar of the outsiders you've mentioned bear for prime anything else maybe bear yeah sip the arc was the runner up in the derby last year he was what did he run up champion stakes as well if i remember he ran up the laurels he was involved and in, he won the masters in waterford he just hasn't sparkled yet this year and for that reason i'm passing him over as a value bet i would suggest barefoot brian at 20 to 1 as a, a reasonable each way now he has his work cut out to qualify but if he qualifies for the final uh, um, you're talking about he'd be a 5 or 6 to 1 chance for that final. He has, He's a dog with an awful lot of ability when he hits it. Apart from that, I find it difficult to find any real outstanding value in the long price ones. I don't think many of them are going to qualify for the final, although the history of this event does suggest that outsiders make it through to the final. Maybe barefoot, Brian. So you're giving us it's a value bet. What's going to win the champion stakes? The odds are there's only t- a maximum of two wide seeds will get to the final, which means that wise thought is either going to be 5 or 6 in the final. Skywalker Queen with him. Now, it's down to the break, and where I'm saying Skywalker Queen is a dodgy-looking task tomorrow night, if she gets trapped six in the final, the 11-2 to two about her at the moment, even though I already said it's not good value, that 11-2 to two would be huge coming into the final because I would expect her to lead wise thought. And I haven't seen a ground that'll come from behind Skywalker Queen, to be honest with you, with the, perhaps the exception of Shelburne Aston if he was very close to her, especially the way she runs wide off the last bend. But I would stick to Nick. I've already said Shelburne Aston, I think, um, is reasonable value at 13-2. to two. He hasn't had a good year yet. He hasn't had any luck at all this year yet. Tomorrow night could be the, you know, it could be a case again of ball sports turning the hunt for this dog in the champion stakes.